I love baseball because just it sounds cliche, but the relationships I think you gain from it. I mean, being a catcher, there's so many things going on. You gotta you gotta remember the hitters that you're facing, the defense, how to set it up, um, what situation, where runners are, when a good running situation is. There's so many different scenarios, and I love that side of it, the strategic side of baseball. It's just very satisfying to me to to be able to just play the game with and have fun with with friends. I mean, I love like I think the simplest terms you can put it. You're playing a game with friends. That's all you're doing, and I think that's very very fun to me. Um, and that's why I love it. Just the camaraderie of, of baseball and the teammates you gain. I mean, there's so many guys I still talk to from from summer ball when I was 15, 16 years old to when. I went up to Iowa and played, or when I went up to New York and played, I mean, I still stay in touch with those guys, and baseball just creates so many great friendships that you just you keep the rest of your life, and that's, that's the main reason I love baseball. You know, even back to before he was here in the recruiting process, you know, he was kind of a guy that would rally people around him. You know, he was the centerpiece in that recruiting class, and he was, um, you know, the guy that kind of cultivated a lot of relationships, and, um, He's just a terrific teammate, you know, and, and, a, and, and an exceptional leader, and, and um, he just has this ability to rally people around him. Because I grew up as a coach's son, I mean, my dad coached me <clears throat> since I've been three years old, and, and just learning from him, watching how he called a game and how he managed games, and I tried to just learn everything I could from him on how to do that. and. I give a lot of credit to him because I base a lot of the way I call pitches and the way I run a defense based off how I learned from him. And so making the right call, it's just, it's, it's almost, I don't want to sound cocky, but it's one of those, it just comes natural. I grew up, I mean, I grew up quarterback and I grew up being a point guard, shooting guard in basketball. I play, I'm a catcher in baseball and it almost feels like it's second nature making, like making a right, right call. It's like, but especially, I think it gets more, enjoyment not just for me watching to the fact that like I made the right call but to see like I mean just an example watching watching the way Drew Pierce got here last year as a thrower and then what he did I mean I didn't I mean coach Gordon last year were on the same page but that was all Drew Pierce in that Ohio Dominican game I mean he was locked in and like I said I was like playing a video game so I made the right call but in the end to watch these watch the guys that I have created such great relationships with grow as a baseball player because of maybe something I suggested and they do it and they execute it and it gives them success. I think that's I think it's pretty pretty cool to watch too. Sammy's kind of like our um, extended coach on the field. You know, as a catcher, that's very important. We 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 look at him for a lot of things. You know, whether it be something that the pitcher's doing that we don't see, you know, or stuff defensively that we don't that we're not seeing. Um, and to be able to have that on the field, especially in a catcher, that's awesome. And Sam, Sam is a very intelligent baseball player. Um, and his skill level is just from freshman to senior year, it's night and day. So that just explains his work ethic is incredible. Just the amount of time he puts into it and how much better he's gotten since he's been here. I mean, now he's a true leader that everybody can look up to. My favorite moments for, for Sammy are centered around his intensity on the field and his vocal leadership. And that's partially because he's a catcher, but that's just in his nature. That's just a part of his DNA is um, just kind of that vocal presence. Just brings a, a sense of passion to the game.